Nearly 140 million from the federal government will go to contaminate World War II site cleanups in New York. Taking a look at Stars and Stripes, what happened at this site? Well, the cleanup of three contaminated sites in Niagara County used for World War II atomic energy and weapons programs will get another infusion of federal dollars. And this has happened quite a long time ago, but still it is quite prevalent in the year 2023. Over 25 million pounds of uranium metals, over 30,000 pounds of thorium metals were used and became mixed in the soil at the former Simon Saws and Steel Co. site in Lockport. The federal government announced $115.6 million will be spent there for work set to begin in 2024. The Niagara Falls storage site in Lewiston will receive $10 million to clean up the uranium ore waste used in the production of nuclear weapons as part of the Manhattan Project under the direction of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, with more than $500 million to be spent in the coming years and the Seaway Industrial Park. Toganda will get $2 million into support of the construction of a land cap fill with where processed uranium ores from the Manhattan Project were dumped. And three sites with being getting rid of World War II contamination are the last of ten sites to be addressed, with seven other now remediated and restored, said Lieutenant Colonel Colby Cug, the Buffalo District Commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Cleanup of the National Niagara Falls and Lockport sites are expected to be completed in 15 years, with the Seaway Industrial Park cleanup expected to begin in the coming months to conclude in 2028. So this is going to go far, far into the future. The cleanup won't disturb the environment, Krug said. All of our cleanup actions are very protective of groundwater, the soil, and the air. And we have very robust monitoring control programs in place to make sure the material does not move off-site, Krug said. We have years of investigations and current monitoring to make sure what was placed decades hasn't moved off-site. The total $139.7 million. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers project also includes $100,000 to a five-year review of the cleanup in Tawanda Landfill and nearly $24 million for waterway investments in Erie County. And most of the waterway dollars is going to be in $21.2 million will be used for maintenance and the operation of Black Rock Channel to Tawanda Harbor to evaluate the 110-year-old Black Rock Lock and fund the lock gate installation. This is a multi-million dollar federal investment in clean communities and vibrant western New York waterways, where Brian Higgs said, We've made incredible waterfront progress, but to maximize the potential for recreation, commercial and fishing boat activities, investments in water are just as important as the investments along the water's edge. The work will be carried out by the Buffalo District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Our mission is to provide safe navigation, protect viral commerce, and ensure the safety of human health and the environment. Who said investments like this are critical permission accomplishment. So, with that being said, this is very interesting to see that a site even used from World War II is having some issues and getting cleaned up. You think maybe even by now that'd be cleaned up, but it won't be probably until 2028, which is highly concerning. But with that being said, that is a problem that needs to be addressed, and even so seeing how much is going into cleanups, then that means there's probably high amounts of uranium in the area. So it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for uranium.